Hello guys and welcome to the third video of the tutorials. Uh, I am JCV and today we're going to take a look at how to make paint jobs. So the first thing we need to do is go to the uh, game folder, okay? Uh, on in base, vehicle, truck, upgrade, okay? Um, and paint job. Here we can find all the paint jobs that the game uses and we can also uh, open one to see uh, how the truck is laid out. So for example, this one is for Mercedes and I need to zoom out and I don't know how. Mm. Anyway, you can see that this has uh, more colors than one. It has four colors in there. Black, green, uh, blue, and as it appears as cyan or cyan or whatever. Oh, oh, wait. I almost forgot. You will also need NVIDIA's DDS plugin for Photoshop, which you can find here. Uh, developer zone. But I will also post a link at the description below. So let's make our own paint job so let's do this we need to open this matching pattern so let's open that load different sizes okay so this is basically the layout of the paint job okay now we can clearly see the left side the right side the front of the truck the wheel covers the side skirts that's the back of the track, I, I forgot if I mentioned that. And the rest of it, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to show you just basic stuff here. So, we need to create a new layer and paint it black. That's your first color, done. So, to see that, uh, we drop the opacity. And we will uh, put something new on it. So, let's see. It's right here, JCV. Okay. Now you may see, you may notice that this is green. Okay. So the there are three colors: black, blue, and green. So black is the base color. Okay. <clears throat> uh, green is the second. Uh, I'm sorry. Blue is the secondary color, and green is the third. The third one. There's a fourth one if you want to, which is red. But I'm not into that. Um right now so we want absolute numbers we will put um 255 five, five for the blue okay <clears throat> i'm going to duplicate that and move it to the other side you can clearly see uh where the logo goes okay and this will reflect into the game uh we will put a big jcv at the back of the truck let's do that JCV, let's make it a bit bigger, shall we, like so, but for some reason the front of the truck is upside down, so when you go and do that, let me just replace that, I mean, I mean duplicate that, um, that's just a bit big isn't it, come on, I'm not as killed in Photoshop as you can see. I suck at Photoshop. F yes. Select like that and make it a bit smaller. Okay. Position that and you need to turn it. Oh, wrong one. Like press Control T, and you will need to turn it 180 degrees, like so. Just put 180 up there. Hit Enter, or click anywhere, and click Enter again. Bring up the opacity of this layer, and this is your new paint job so 
let's save that. Let's save it as desktop. Um, DDS. Uh, call it for, call it paint job for now. Save. You will need to save it as DXT5 ARGB8BP interpolated alpha. So click save. And yes. So shut this down. Yes. Okay. Let's replace that. This is old. Okay. <clears throat> so now we want to do this for, let's say, uh, Scania, which is the most popular truck. So let's find a two two toned, I'm sorry, a three colored Scania paint job. Um, this one should do it. So we have a Scania A and a Scania B and C. So I'm going to replace both of them. So copy, paste that. Okay. Now copy that and repaste it here. Okay. And select the uh, secondary name. Copy that and paste it again here. Come on. Now we will need to create the exact file path so it's going to be vehicle, truck, upgrade and paint job. So I've already done that. So it's vehicle, truck, upgrade, paint job. So yes, now all you need to do is copy these, copy and paste them inside here. Okay. Now add to archive JCV test paint job zip store rename that to SES and click OK. Now copy that my document your truck simulator to mod and paste it. Yes, replace that. Now make sure it's the exact file path because I made a mistake here. The original one is vehicle truck upgrade paint job. But I did what I did was paint jobs and this is this needs to be addressed. So when you pack it, uh be sure that the um uh, file path is correct which is in this case not okay so copy that and paste it and it should be done see how easy it was now you can go crazy on it you may notice here that the front bit needs a bit work but that's that's the whole thing trial and error thank you for watching yet another episode of these tutorials i am jcv and i hope you find this helpful cheers and happy modding Close!